Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Ambar Anwar, and today I'm going to tell you what things you should avoid while making a DUI with Synodo and what is the proper way of making a DUI with Synodo while you are publishing journal article. So here are a few things that you need to know about me. And uh, before going into details, I would request all of you, if you are into research, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Serpa Trova. Now, the first thing that you need to do, do is go to this link, Z-E-N-O-D-O-Zenodo.org. Once you are in Zenodo, you have two options. You can either sign up or log in. Uh, how you sign up, this is very, very easy. You can sign up with Orchid or uh, GitHub. I'll talk about both of these later on, but you can also sign up with email address. It's very easy to make. And once you make a sign up with an email address uh, right here, if you don't have an ORP ID, just input your email right here. And uh, once you sign up with an email address, you will get an email and uh, instant, instantly you will get an email. What you have to do is to go to your inbox or your spam folder and verify it, and then you are good to go. So we will go to the main page and uh, I'll be removing this annotation uh, for uh, everyone uh, so that it's easy to follow now since uh, we will be we will be uh, using this to log in and once we have logged in i'll be entering my email address here and i'll be inputting my password Now, as you can see that I have logged in here and uh, one thing that I would like to show you here is once you are logged into Zenodo, you have got two options. Uh, you have got two options that uh, unfortunately I'm unable to show you. Uh, so this is first option is here on the upload and the second option here is the communities. Now, what you will do if you are, if you want to upload a new research, just select this upload and uh, you can see that i have got a lot of researches that i have uploaded here but uh, what i'll do i'll just make a new upload here so once you are on the new upload what things you need to do what things you need to do correctly first of all you have to choose a file so uh, i can choose any file but to give you an idea that uh, i'll be uploading up just this is basically uh, draft file, I'll not be publishing it, but just to give you an idea, this is uh, start typing what are communities. The first thing that you need to understand here is communities. So what are these communities? Uh, these communities are basically, these, uh, these are basically repositories of Zenodo. There are a lot of communities, but the community most often the I use is Open Access Pakistan. This is the community, and I can also I use biodiversity literature. Uh, I use European Commission and Zenodo and FP7 outputs. These are the most common communities that I input my research data into. So now. As I have mentioned in my previous uh, talk that there are 17 kind of things that uh, you can upload on Zenodo. And uh, if you haven't listened to it, please do listen to it. It's on my YouTube channel and you'll be able to find it. So moving on, since this is, this is a presentation, so I'll be uh, using this. But if you are uploading a journal article, so you will select publication and here you will select journal article. You can also upload preprint here, but since my mine is a presentation, so I'll choose it a presentation or let's make it a journal article for the sake of your knowledge. So now, once uh, you have selected the type of journal article, you have to reserve a DUI. Look, when you, when you clicked here, the DUI has been reserved and this is the DUI and this will be published. So now the next thing is publication date. What journals usually do, journals mention month of publication. So when they have mentioned month of publication, just input the uh, end of the month because that's when most of the journal publishes. So this is how 30 August 2020. Title is 
basics of literature researching. So here you have to be very, very careful. Here you have to do the things like this. My name is Amar Anwar, so I'll add Anwar Amar affiliation, affiliation XYZ and ORCID, uh, I'll input my ORCID here. Uh, this is the basic abstract. If you need to add more than one author, you can click here and add another author, but since I'm the sole author of this one, so I'll not be adding more. So this is the app description here, you copy the abstract. So I'll just write one, two, three, four, five, just to give you an idea. Version, version is very, very important. Most of the people, they tell you to skip the version and don't uh, go ahead, but I'll tell you what version basically is. Version is if you have if you are working on a research article or if you are working on a data set or if you are working on a research whose data is incomplete, but you want to publish your initial results, so you will publish using version. So I'll publish it 1.00. Like, uh, let me show you uh, one more thing and uh, you will understand what version is. So uh, please pardon the interruption. And I'll, uh, I just wanted to show you what version is. So I'm, I'm going to show you here. Uh, as you can see that these are uh, my uploads that I have uploaded. And uh, this is the metaspheric version. This is the thing that I wanted to show you. And I'll be showing you it just now. Look, this is Pakistan Journal of Surgery and Medicine citation record. So uh, what I wanted to show you is versions, version 1.05, 1.04, 1.03, 1.02, 1.01. There are six versions. I'm continuously updating this document. So there are six versions that are published in different date. First version, July 2020. Second version, August 2020. Third version, October 2020. Fourth version, that is also in October, October, December. There are six versions that have been published to date, so you can choose the version. And now coming to language. These things are very, very important. The next thing is language. The language is the language of your article in which you have written it. So if it is in English, just write English. Eng. There you go. That's it. This is very, very important because this makes your article SEO optimized. Keywords, for my research, this is... Uh, it, this is this is how you should enter the keyword and on the nodo it differs a bit it it is a bit technical so here you go PRAD literature review add another keyword boolean logic research methodology so uh usually they say that you should not put a space between the word uh, between the keyword but that doesn't matter now because search engines are continuously updating themselves and they are intelligent systems. So what you need to understand is how to add proper keywords. So my study was basically literature review using Boolean logic. So I have entered these three keywords and additional notes. If you have any additional notes, for example, I usually put on this for queries, for queries, please, for queries, please follow, please leave email on ab yeah, amar anwar at abc at email at, at the rate of dot com that's it so amar anwar at the rate of hotmail dot com in case of any queries so there are four types of access that you can grant open access embargoed access restricted access and closed access most of the articles are published with open access. I'll be talking about this uh, later on, but for it, right now you can choose open access. Under Creative Commons license, there are other types of licenses as well. And so if you have received any grant, you can mention it here since I haven't received any grant, so I have removed it. Re alternate identifiers. What are alternate identifiers? Alternate identifiers are basically those identifiers that are uh, published, for example, these are identifiers on the journal website. For example, if you have published a journal article and it is on journal website, so you will use the identifier from the journal website and you will enter, uh, enter the link here. HTTPS journal 
article.com. This is slash research methodology. Just to give you an example. So this is what my, this article supposedly was published on this website with this link. So I'll upload it like this is an alternate identifier of this upload. This is what you need to know. There are many other options, but I'll talk about them later. And this is basically what, this is a journal article. So I'll be using it as journal article. If there are any contributors, significant people who have helped you, you can mention their name here. This is optional. References, this is very, very important. For proper research to show up, you have to mention each and every reference. So mention each reference separated by, use this for single references. Although this is optional by Zenodo, but you have, but I will recommend that you go for the reference. And journal, you have to mention the journal title. This is the journal, journal one, for example. Volume is the number of volume in which it was published. I will say this is volume 11, issue one, and uh, pages. Page number are also very important, E123. If you have presented this in conference, you have to uh, mention conference title, but this is not relevant here. This is the basic and you have to then save. And once it's saved, you can publish it and it will be published on Zendodo. So this is all for today. And if you have any queries or questions, please feel free to reach me and I would love to answer them. So until next time, take care. And if you like research, do subscribe to my channel. Allah Hafiz.